and welcome back. Hello everyone. My name is Sandy IBG and today we are doing a haul video. Oh yeah. With some guy named Nate. I'm some guy named Nate. If I got Rick Sanchez hair, it's because I woke up two hours ago and I tried combing it and then it went pring back yeah. into its original spiky place. Those of you who don't know, so. this is October's haul video. And uh, we've already started collecting for November and it's oh already getting pretty BB. I've got a hefty bag already. Yes. Uh, hefty, so hefty, hefty. I will say this one thing about November's haul though. Just to give you a, a forewarn. Mine are probably all going to be cheap as hell. Because <laughs> what Vince, I spent right ooh, here ooh. is... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games this month. Way to one-up me. Actually, yeah. he two-upped me. I got eight games oh, last month. Oh, you got eight month. games. Yes. And Vince knows about them, but do you know about them? Go check out Nate's uh, haul video coming up after this. On Vince's um, channel. Probably in about three or four days after this video. Goes with my out. spiky hair and everything, because we are going to record yeah. it, yes. So I'm going to start off with uh, sort of like my... Or not not my... I did that wrong. Your, I'm going to start uh, off with my... And then do my... Okay? I think so, we should start doing that. Yeah. Like, like next month I'll do that. I'll take my rare boy and I'll put it right at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to start off... Um, one. I got three digital games... One I'm going to be mentioning later because it is a oh. It the is. other two are just Meh. oh. So I'll start off with those. Uh, well, actually, those it's three. digitals. I should have uh, sticky noted mine. At least I remembered my three digitals. I did, and I wrote the prices on them too. Hilarious. So, first one up. I'm actually going to do this as a dual thing. Ooh. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, because it's the same game, just the second and third one. Okay. You know what it is? Yeah, I do. All right. This is Lucius two, two and, and three. three. He bought both um, of them. He I bought, bought them both, both the on Steam. Uh, for those of you who did not know, um, I did just play them for Spooktober. Scary. So, or I did just play the, the first, first one, one. Yes. for Spooktober. And we beat it. And we beat it. And the I'm ending was planning weird. on doing uh, these other two for next year's Spooktober as just sort of like the, not main content, but... Side content. Side content. Side bitch. So, those are super fun. You play as a six-year-old boy... Um, who is whose dad is Lucifer? Whose dad is Lucifer? And he's you're got devil powers. Suspiciously killing off um, everyone, everyone that you're around. I know the second one takes place in an orphanage. Orphanage. I don't know where the third one takes place, and you're just con continuing your killing spree. Yeah. And it was really sort of fun playing that puzzle platformer high superpowers. Kind Stealth, of deal, kind of. You it mixed a lot of elements together. The only thing I did not like is some of the elements for the puzzles were like you had to be a fucking genius. Yeah, to find the the stuff. The one specific item. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a five, five. and a half. Oh, I was just gonna five it. You're gonna five I'll it. I'll still I'll still play the other two with you when we get to that on the show. But uh, I'm still gonna say five on that. It's five. Unless they, unless two and three just blow me out of the water, they're like, "Holy yeah. crap! Look at how cool this is." I do have to say though, each one goes for twenty dollars on Steam, mm -hmm. um, but I picked them both up for five dollars a piece. You saved thirty dollars. Yeah, thirty dollars yeah, of saved greens. Uh, next game on the digital front is a game called Ziggurat. Ziggurat. What's this one about? Uh, Ziggurat is sort of like a magical. Arena, but not, not like M, like um, online arena with other players. Yeah, so like PVE. Like, so like yeah, your PVE. You're going through these dungeons. You've got a big arena kind of deal, and nice. it's very. You build up your stats, your characteristics, and like all this other stuff. Nice. And you're running around, and you're feeding these enemies, and then like a bigger swarm comes. And like it's just really cool. Kind of reminds me of um, a very basic but very over the toply done version of Killing Floor, but oh. it's, a, it's sort of a little bit so more... So it's like, it's like Horde Mode meets uh, Arena Battle. Yeah. Arena. That's really cool. So... Six and a half. I'm going to say six as well. Um, this game normally goes for $15 on Steam. I got it for $3.50. Deal. I love those Steam sales. Thank you, those Steam, Steam making me awesome. spend my money. Here is the... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We're not doing He's the third one. That, one. that one's saved for later. Macaulay Culkin, everybody. Next item on the list, this is an NES game, and during the time, the the, the number one down here, the red, I was working on that one, and I didn't want to go in and just, you know, do some dumb, this number keeps calling me, I hate it. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get something, yeah. so I forked over $3, woo! 
Ooh. high roller for ice hockey. In I, the love, NES. I, lo- I love <laughs> hockey. Seriously. Hockey games are fun. The most basic game. Um, probably really horrible to play. Some hockey games are really horrible to play. Others, I think, are super fun. It looks like it's not NHL affiliated. It is just generic hockey. Yeah, it is just generic ice hockey. Which is still fun if it's if it's still like arcadey and it's like you can still body check people. It probably doesn't shoot. even have team names. It's probably like Houston, uh, Texas, Texas, Toronto. Yeah, like. everywhere's Texas. <laughs> it's Texas, Texas, and Texas. I don't know. I love hockey games a lot, but I'm pretty sure this one won't be too special. I'm gonna give it a five and a half. I'm gonna give it a four. Vince bought this and he gave yeah. it a four. Everybody. I mean, it was just something I needed to and fill my. This, this man collects NES games. Yeah. So he needs. You need. I do need shovelware, and need I will eventually have to do it. I it's figured crazy. the time that I went in was the perfect time to grab at least one shovelware. Exactly, which was which was ice hockey yeah. right here. Pow on the desk. Boom. Won't Next stay. game, um, I found this one in a thrift shop. Ow, my neck. And I was super like, what? Like. Like, what is this game? This is Alien Trilogy for that the one, PlayStation. That is a fun game. I've played it before. It is a first-person shooter on the PS1 yes. that takes place... Missions are from Alien, Aliens, and Alien 3. Yes. So the original trilogy of Alien. And it looked extremely fun. And the disc is pretty dang good. And a it's a green... Scratch, but I can take it in... You know what I don't get? A lot of PlayStation collectors hate Greatest Hits cases. I don't know why. Like it has to be a black label, black spine of the game, or they don't want it. I don't care. As long as it's the game's good, mm-hmm. I, I will play the hell out of it. And it looks so fun. Ripley established contact with Colony LV two four two six. Rated M for gore and violence. Only takes up one block of your memory card. Seven. Out of seven. Ten. Yes. As well, that's also the price I paid for it. Woo! Seven. Tie that in. <laughs> So, that looks awesome, though, dude. Yeah. I would play the hell out of that. Let me put that... I'll put it in the back. I'll put it in the back? Yeah, I'll put it right there. All right, this game, I randomly just stumbled across. I'm like, that looks like a scary game. It looks like a future Spooktober game, maybe. It is. So, uh, yeah. turns out this is the second one, and the first one is crazy expensive. Yeah. Crazy expensive. Uh, this is Obscure The, the aftermath. aftermath, and this is the second one. Um, it's a horror-based game. It looks like it's a 3D... Uh, just survival horror, your typical like Resident Evil style. There's a lot of around. games like that for Generation Four and Five, and most of them are very, very fun. That's how I've discovered things like you know The Suffering and Run Like Hell, and there's a few other games that I'm like, oh yeah, this was the good time for weird horror games. And that it disc is looks lit- pretty good. Yeah, that is kind of crispy. It is one to two players, so maybe a co-op uh, spooktober. Oh, maybe. maybe. Um, I might see if I can try to find the first obscure and pay yeah. the pretty penny that it requires to, uh, to buy well, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the second one. You might as well find yeah. a copy of the first one. <gasps> 7 out of 10. I'm going to go 7 out of 10 as well. Uh, it is pretty basic on the second one. Um, I do have to say, though, this was $12. I did that's, pay $12. That's not bad. It's not bad. I went to a local multi-man. new game st- uh, store. And uh, saw this one and just decided to pick it up. Support your local game shop. Nice. Now, this one I've been searching for because I used to have it as a kid and I loved it. And, and it's good. It's good. I love and this game. They recently released a remastered, uh, remastered collection, but I kind of want to have those original OG games too. This is Crash Bandicoot, the first one. Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's Mario. <laughs> yeah, I know. Crash goes, oh. But look uh, at that orange disc. If you don't know what Crash Bandicoot is, where have you been? <laughs> it, he is a direct competition of Mario originally in the 90s. He was a 3D action platformer when you collected crystals and gems and beat levels and defeated bosses. The only problem I have with the first one is it's really hard to save. The only way it'll let you save the game is if you have a memory card and collect every single box in a level, then it'll let you save or if you have, uh, if you remember the passwords. So this was also a password system game. Okay. So at least you can kind of remember passwords, but this game is amazing and launched uh, the whole career of Mr. Bandicoot himself. This is such a good game. The only problem I have with it, Vince, that level right there, when you're on a suspension bridge and it's really fucking hard, eight out of 10. 
I'm gonna go nine out of ten on this one. I have a lot of classic oh, memory of this one. Two is my favorite. I love two. Um, well, I'm just talking about like the whole Crash the whole Bandicoot franchise, series going yeah. on up. Um, now, I had to talk the people down on this one because they had it in the case for twenty seven dollars. And if you look it up on Game Eye, it comes out to fifteen dollars. Yes. And I'm like, I'm not paying twenty seven dollars for a fifteen dollar game. Like, yeah. I get it. Like, it's got a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people, but mm-hmm. that's too high a markup. Very I did true. get them down to twenty though. That's not bad. So Vince did take a small hit there. And but because look, because it's um, clean. what do you call it? I have a membership with that uh, certain game shop. Yes. Um, I had I got a discount on it after even after I talked them down on it. Ended nice. up paying only seventeen. Nice, so just a so, little bit over. I was That's more than I, willing to do that. Yes, more than willing. Help out your local game shops, everybody. I did that today, but here's where Nate's gonna do a shocks Macaulay Culkin face. Not yet. Twice. No. We're going to Twice. the digital. Okay. We're going I'll to just do digital. my normal face <laughs> like this. All right. This one is a kickstarted game. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. He has in some Let's Plays and some Let's Plays on my channel, but it is The the Beast Beast Inside. Inside. Now, this is a horror game, puzzle, survival horror, uh, very new. The graphics are freaking outstanding. There is quite a few jump scares, which I know a lot of people don't like or they hate when they do that, but... If done well, holy shit, they're good. This is going to put Outlast to shame. Like, oh, man, I, I already played a demo and the beta... And I wanted to do it for this Spooktober, but it didn't get released until October 17th. And they didn't announce that it was getting released until, like, October 10th. So, we were already into October by then, I was just like... You're like, I already have my spooky games. Now, even though I paid for this game almost a year and a half, two years ago, Mm -hmm. um, it is finally out on this October, so I am counting it as part of my October haul. Yes. Um, I kickstarted it with... With $85. Yes. So I put $85 towards this game. Got a lot of perks. A lot of the updates. The I got two free games. Uh, Agony and Lust for Darkness that mm-hmm. came along with it. Uh, I'm getting an art book. I get my name in the credits. And I also get my name on a tombstone inside the game. Which That's I think cool. is awesome. That is very cool. Um, I got the beta beforehand. I got... I, I don't know. I got just a ton of perks for the $85. You're gonna you be can shocked. pick it up on Steam. For twenty five dollars, though. You know what I'm gonna say? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It's as good as Crash Bandicoot. I've seen it, and it like, if you play it with the lights off, everybody, poo will be filling <laughs> your drawers. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, if you play the game and you find my tombstone, let me know. Tweet it to at yes. Insanity IBG yes, or I to me. I want to know where it is. I will be playing here pretty soon for the channel. Um, so check that so out I'll as well. I'll watch the shit out so, of that. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm now fine. I can do my shocked face. All right, so now the game itself isn't Worth isn't so much. isn't so special. I mean, I do love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one for the NES. NES. But now, here is the thing about this game, though. Here's the catch. Um, well, first of all, it's it's top down and it's 2D platformer at the same time, depending on yes. what part of the game you're in. Yes. Uh, you're fighting, all that other stuff. You guys know the game. Um, I'm going over that very briefly. You can be any of the characters. Um, I do have to say some of the weapons have a length advantage in this game, which is yeah. kind of weird and unfair for a game to do, but it does do it. Yes. And it is extremely difficult. The game itself, I'm going to go ahead and give a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, I've played it before and I can't get past the damn level that everybody hates. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's, tough. It is very, very tough. But, but the catch now I'm going to show you this. Is that signed? Boom. It is 100% signed Authentic. by the 1985 entire cast of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Yes. Yes. Is so, it Kevin Eastman's also? On uh, Kevin Eastman, the creator of the Teenage Mutant Turtles, has also signed it. So this so is five signatures signed by Cam Clark, who played Leo, uh, Barry Gordon, who played Donnie, Town Said Coleman, who played Mikey, yes, uh, Rob Paulson, who played Raphael, mm-hmm. and uh, Renee Jacobs, who played April O'Neil. Nice in the uh, cartoons. Yes. Now, I guess it isn't a full cast piece because Splinter and Shredder are not on here. But still, six signatures but on yay. one cartridge. Super pumped. Uh, I'm going to be sending this where... in to JSA or something like that to get certified for me. you got to hang it somewhere or place it yeah, in the Yeah, it's going to be placed in a very, 
very special place. That is a huge pickup for me. So. Yes, I'm not even going to touch it. Like, oh, God, it's coming <laughs> to my pile. Look at that. That's really cool, though. It's yeah. amazing. But Signed yeah. all over. It is, there's, like, a tiny bit of plastic. That would be really hard to sign right there, though. Yeah. So that's why nobody signed it there. Yeah. But, yeah, I got it. That's and awesome. now you're thinking, like, holy crap, Vince. How can you top this? Do you still have another game sitting there? Yes, he does. How can you top that? This. Like, dang. <laughs> okay. This is Gigawing 2. Is that really expensive? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is one of the most expensive games you can get for the Dreamcast. It is a top-down... Uh, Shmup. Shoot 'em up Shooter. shooter. Yeah. You're in a ship. I mean, you're, you're, you're old, basic. Yeah. And you hold that button down and... It's really difficult, really fun, really exciting, really fast-paced... Uh, I don't really know what really else you rare. can say it for It is the games. second rarest Dreamcast game. If you, yes. If anyone is a Dreamcast collector watching this, you know how sought after Gigawing 1 and 2 are. I just happened to walk two. into my game shop and I saw it sitting there and I was just like, What? And it is not complete, but... It is not complete. Uh, so, I do have the game. I do have the original manual. The only thing that I am missing for this is, is the, back. the back label. Which, I can probably find somewhere for fairly cheap. I mean... By fairly cheap, I mean like ten, fifteen dollars or something like that. Yeah, and just place it in there, um, or I can get a reproduction. Which, for the back label, I don't know if I I really mind doing. Yeah, because um, it is go, back label. Like I yeah. would never do a repro on the manual or the game itself. No, but the back label, sure, it's not really a make or break um, at this point. Yeah, but Giga Wing normally goes for two hundred and thirty-five dollars, and because it's missing the back label. I got it for 170 Which is still... So. That's, that's a big <laughs> dip there, but holy crap. It, it was one of those on moments me. where I pulled out my card and I'm like... Yeah, you did that... <laughs> you did that last <laughs> retro with the Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Yeah, I did. That was painful because I was like, Vince, listen to your brain, but listen to your wallet. And yeah. he just like, into his wallet, he goes... Yeah, but yeah well, that this, game normally goes for 180 and they yeah. were asking for 150 so yeah. I was like... I gonna have to, yes. <laughs> well, the manual wants to fall out. I'm being yeah. really careful, being really careful, being really careful. Okay. Anyway, good. that is my haul. A huge haul for me. Uh, very big items. Very big uh, happiness with October's haul. Good not job. Not gonna be able to top it. No, you're not. not be I'll be able to top it. my October haul. My October haul was decent. I hope Vince likes a few of the games that I'm gonna showcase yeah. on my half. But if you guys want to see more haul videos. You can stay tuned because we are going to record in November's in December. Yeah. What games December. will I get? I still have to edit September's. <laughs> Big shrug. <laughs> it's okay, late. Vince. It's okay. I just had a baby, so forgive uh, me. Yeah. I've been distracted. <laughs> it's all right. If you want to see grips similar to this one, subscribe to Vincenity IBG. Don't forget to be paper. But until <laughs> that happens, later, later dudes. dudes. I didn't want to say it. <laughs>